All right, guys, welcome back. Here is the ZTE Z Pad. Now, I'll show you the device. Let's go over the specs real quick here. You've got a Snapdragon 617 with an octa clock at 1.5 gigahertz, dual stereo speakers here, a 9,070 milliamp hour battery, which is going to power this thing for a long time. You've got a 5 megapixel on the front and rear, 10.1 inches here, 1080p full HD. So you've got 1920 by 1200. Passive 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs on board, and Android Marshmallow. So here's the device itself. Not very, uh, not a very big tablet like you would think for it to be 10 inches, but it actually is really light in the hand. It feels really good, really solid. 9,000 milliamp hour battery in here will power this thing all day. Let me get into the system here. I'll show you what it's actually looking like. So you've got the stereo speakers here. You've got stereo speakers on the. You got speakers here on the top, one here and one here. And I'll take you into the system here. This is beautiful in person, very smooth for it to run. A lot of people question the 617 processor, but depending on the setup, you have to remember that processing power is based on how the entire system is put together. So this is running, it looks like pretty much almost a stock experience. And I know a lot of you guys like that, but this tablet right here, I'm gonna try to get some information on pricing, but I don't know of anything yet. But just take a look around, it's a very thin tablet. You got a power button up top here. You got a volume rocker on this side. You got your headphone jack up top. And you got your charging sink down there. And this is USB Type-C for those that are asking. So the 617, the 600 series seems to be like the more popular processor that a lot of people are going with in their, especially for battery efficiency. So this is, again, this has a 9,070 milliamp hour battery and uh, it's flowing pretty good with two gigs of RAM, a 617 processor. I think this is more than enough to power this, this big tablet right here. And I'll show you a smaller tablet called the Trek HD in just a little bit. So I can find it. 